Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1985, also released on ZF Spectrum and the Commodore 64, obviously based on the TV show of the same name, where a pilot called Stringfellow Hawk steals a military super weapon, a helicopter, and uses it to fly around the world correcting the world's wrongs. It's funny because we all thought that the helicopter was absolutely amazing back in the day, but it's actually just a modified passenger helicopter. In fact, you can see it's being used, the same model, uh, I think it might even be the same one and they painted it. Um, it, carrying the senator in the original uh, Fox X-Men movie from, what was it, 2000, 2001? And it's also the helicopter that drops the soldiers into uh, the Scottish Moors, Highlands, sorry. Spoilers! It's uh, in the Netherlands, actually. Um, but yeah, into the Highlands in Dog Soldiers. But, so, on the spectrum, while this is an incredibly, incredibly balls horrifically hard game, it looks quite nice. It is technically uh, doable. It's one of those helicopter games that has, you know, graphi uh, graphics, gravity, so like thrust and stuff like that. You have to keep pressing up to keep yourself above other objects. And you have to shoot walls or shields. I've not played this version yet. Uh, but to fly through the gap, uh, obviously, and then shoot enemy guns, not touching any of the scenery and stuff like that, because it will blow you up. Uh, but you have to get through these doors that you blow up before they decide to repair themselves. It's incredibly frustrating, but like I said, it looks really rather nice for a 1985 game, even though your helicopter looks nothing like uh, Airwolf. Uh, and we had it back in the day, and I don't think I've done a gameplay of it, so I might actually do a gameplay of it. I think I attempted to, but it pissed me off with how incredibly hard it is. So, don't know what this is like. I'm assuming this is just going to be a poor... Uh, anyway... I uh, don't know what the Commodore 64 version is like either. No, it was a massive success on the um, Zelda Spectrum, and there is a sequel to this, and I know across all versions, because I have played the Spectrum version, even I've done the gameplay of it, um, the sequel is absolutely clown shoes. Anyway, fire. Right, oh! Right, so, score. Yeah, no, it's time. Going down. I am Airwolf. I'm assuming those are lives at the bottom. Score top right, high score top left. These are the shields. It's not port the Spectrum version, but we do have to worry about gravity. And your guns don't fire continuously. It would appear... What? Right, I don't know if I'm supposed to pick that crate up, but I'm not trying again. The problem with giving you gravity, uh, you know, momentum and such, is you need to give me space. There's no space. Go right. I can fire when I'm like that. Also, fucking hell, look at the time. If you're gonna put time in it, at least give me, I don't know, a snowball's chance in hell. And also, if you're gonna put music in it, uh, kudos for making it sound like a TV show, but why is it on the smallest loop ever? Can I... I can't kill them. What? I'm pretty sure. Did that do anything? Did it? Ooh! If you seen that one down there, you're supposed to be able to get them. I don't know how you get them, but you're supposed to be able to get them. But, I'm not fucking trying that one. Did you see that one on the third screen? Well, you, because the thing is, if you go, that was very satisfying, um, forward or backwards, or move in a direction, then you don't lose your altitude. I'm going to smash something in a minute, not because this game is so fucking hard, but because the music is so fucking shit. You've made it harder than a Spectrum version, but you've also made it shitter. So any real need, or feel, compulsion if you will, to continue, has left Dodge. So all you people are saying, oh, he's taking a sabbatical from Prince of Persia, depending upon when I make the flight. 
if I ever make it live. At least you get to see me suffer some more. I mean, it's because... Fucking shoot! I'm running out of time, you fucktard! Have you seen this? I don't know what that did. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Yeah, you're not going to see much, but it could be worse. You could be playing it, and trust me, I've only been playing this for fucking two minutes, and you don't want to be playing this. Right, oh! No, so, I was touching the box, awkward, and it took my, it's energy, that's energy at the bottom. So I don't know where my fucking lives are, but they're dropping quicker than a hooker's pants. Also, because your gun doesn't fire continuously, I don't know what it thinks it's doing, Shooting these blocks is absolutely a nightmare. Playing this game, to be fair, is absolutely a nightmare. I don't like it. I'm so angry now, I want to punch a baby unicorn in the face. After I've killed its mother in front of it. For being a unicorn. To be fair, I kill unicorns because they're associated with liberals, so fuck it. Oh! Notice that your health has got A's on it, just to remind you that you're playing Airwolf. Trust me, game, I am aware that I'm playing Airwolf. Every fibre in my being is. I mean, how could I forget about that delightful music rendition? See, how are you supposed to get that down there? I want to see just leg it through. Oh! Leg it through the gap. Cash grab! Uh, in 1985? Surely not, then. Um, and just go straight up. nice effect when you die, and rightly so, because you're going to see it a lot. As I always say, I'm sure there are people out there who can rinse and repeat this on one fucking go, credit, whatever. Good for you! We all need life goals, even if it's something as fucking terrible as it is. See, the thing is, if you want to do this type of game, you have to give me room. That's why every game like this fails. That and the fact that it was incredibly fucking poorly written was just an excuse to cash in on the IP, uh, IP's material, IP's license. Come on. Why am I still playing this? I've tolerated headaches longer than this that have been more enjoyable. Right. Also, if you're not going to make it so I can shoot the bad guys, then this is terrible. Why didn't you just make us shoot them up? That's all you had to do. See, sometimes your gun actually works. Yeah, you just had to make a shoe up. That wouldn't have been too difficult in 1985. You could have just fucking stolen something from the arcades. Right. Oh, fucking dead already. To be fair, I was dead the minute I'd start playing this game. A 
Have I just got into the house? Nice. I don't know. I can't remember where I start again. What do I do with those boxes? Presumably, they stop my time. I mean, is it time? I haven't even looked up. It must have run out. Well, no, it's probably not run out yet, because I've never actually fucking survived long enough. When your time picks down that brutally, and you can't even survive long enough to run out of time, you know your game's got problems. I can't, I can't, I can't. Airwolf, by Elite. Elite had pedigree, mind, but Airwolf, by Elite, on the Amstrad CPC, well, basically, it can fuck off. Anyway, as always, I love to not think, especially if you played this back in the day, and if you did play this back in the day, particularly this version, then you'll have my sympathy, because, yeah, Airwolf can fuck off. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.